<laughs> Once I stood up, it kicked in. <laughs> Once I stood up, it kicked in. <laughs> I kind of just want to sit here with my eyes closed and, you know, beat bop around. I was thinking about watching the rest of, uh... Now, the thing is, I've never really watched anime before. Alright. I'm not really, like, an anime person. But I seen some things of One Punch Man, and I was like, I really want to watch it. So I blew through that whole th series in one go. Like, I binge-watched it immediately. And now what I've moved on to... Now, I've I've watched Bakugan, Pokemon, and even, uh... A little bit. I'm trying to remember what the game is. It's with the cards, and they have, like, the little swirly black holes on the back. Yu-Gi-Oh... Yes, Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. I had to say, I'm just like, I'm hearing the words Yu-Gi-Oh. And I'm like, okay, the word is Yu-Gi-Oh. That's what I was looking for. Watch a bit of that, too. But everyone tells me that those aren't really considered animes for some reason. And I was like, you know what? Okay, screw you then. But I, I binge-watched uh, One Punch Man. <laughs> I had to look at the mirror and I'm like, yeah, he's bald like me, too. And I'm like, One Punch Man. But, um... Now what I've been binge watching, which there's a lot of episodes to it, and I, you know what? I didn't like that he cried so much early on. I just thought that was super annoying. But I really like, at its core, it's a decent show. I mean, the crying is a little bit cringy because it was so much. But then, like, once they got a little further into the show, he stopped doing it as much, and it was fine. And you might already know what I'm talking about if I'm saying that, because a lot of people have said the same thing, and that's My Hero Academia. And so, I've actually been enjoying that a lot. That 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 show is actually really. I I like family friendly stuff, and it's family friendly. So, I'm pr basically when it comes to content and things like that, I absolutely just if it's family friendly, I just like things that are pure, innocent, family friendly. Like you just watch it, you feel happy. I I I, I don't really like like gore and hard like all that hardcore stuff and like cussing i i don't like hearing cussing at all but like if, it ha if i if it, if it if it's not somebody like that i love speaking that way it doesn't really bother me but if it's someone i love and they like curse it kind of hurts me a little bit each time but you know that's that's just me maybe i'm just a little too innocent sometimes but um Kind of makes me just think that I'm a little bit of a, a little bit of a family person, even though I don't really have much family. I got my mom and my dad, and I mean, there's uncles and grandpas and cousins and stuff, right? But I don't really know them very well. I really just have my mom and dad. Other than that, I have my brothers in arms. Where they may not be blood related, but they are my family regardless. Special shout out. First person I think of when I say that is my buddy Kyle. Which I haven't talked to in a while. I hope he's okay. There's some things that he's been going through lately that I, I, I don't know what's going on. But I've been, it, it's just weird how easy it is to like, I don't know. I have this thing where I kind of forget things. This is gonna be kind of like a podcast, isn't it? Because we need the whole this whole video. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna edit it. I'm not gonna edit. It. I feel like it's gonna be perfect. I just need to set it to 18 plus, just in case anything happens. Even though I'm just kind of you know casual guy, that's family friendly. I'm not gonna cuss or anything because I don't really curse. Not saying I don't, but I definitely don't say the f word. I don't even like saying the letter f in general or anything close to it. I don't even say that like the weird dance thing that's like it's like some kind of dance type music type word F U N K. I don't say that word. I don't say B U C K either because it's too close. I don't say any words that are close. But, um yeah. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Cause I I'm kinda in one of those moods where I can just sit here and talk and talk and talk. But we might as well continue. Look how nice this game looks right now. Have the game set or the graphics set to ultra. Oh, I'm feeling so good right now. Looks this like is actually gonna be a nice day. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be but good. I don't think we should stay. Around 
to see if he comes back. Closest town, closest town from here is Riverwood. Now, the blacksmith. here is. I'm sure he'd help you out. Guess it's not it's the hardest decision to make. Split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. But it is it's an interesting to make, and that's up. the first Good luck. stone right here. And now this is the today. only stone I ever use. And if I ever use another stone, it's because I've used the headband to get a second stone. This is the only stone in the entire game, the entire game, that you should ever use in your playthroughs. Now, I know the other ones, they, they all have special abilities. So there's like the necromance one, the invisibility one, the horseback one where it makes you have better carry weight, the lover stone, all of them. There's so many. There's even ones in other locations like the island or whatever, and new ones they added or whatever nonsense. This right here is the best stone in the game. You don't need another one after this. 20% XP in a certain subclass that takes up like six of the abilities. And, and so it's just, it's, it's such a good stone that if you don't use this one and it's not the only stone you use, like if this isn't your main stone when you play this game for like the majority of your playtime, are you like, you, you gotta be insane. Like how, I, I can't, I can't imagine not using the stone right here. Now I understand if you're like new to this game, you don't really understand stuff. So you click them randomly and you just, you don't really know. But if you do know the power of these three stones right here, there is no reason why this shouldn't these shouldn't be the only stones you ever use until you're done with them. Because that 20% XP boost. These are the guardian stones. And you know what? Even if I have the three crown for the second stone, I'll pick two of these. I'll take two of these. These are the best three stones in the entire game. What the heck are you are you trying to add in on my commentary? Go. Go to Riverwood. Go talk to mommy or daddy. Go go ahead. Go. What, do you want to talk about it? I hope I've never had you talk to me about this. There somewhere. So did I. If the damn storm cloak hey, somehow someone. found one, or woke it up, the war might be about to take an ugly turn. Hard to believe it was just a coincidence. Mm -hmm. The first dragon anyone's seen for centuries attacks just as Ulfric was about to be executed. Okay. Of course. I know today wasn't the best introduction to the Legion, but I hope you'll give us another chance. The Legion could really use someone like I just don't get why you would want to join them if they try to kill you in the first place, like some kind of douchebags. General Tullius is the only one who can Although I usually them. join them. I don't even believe in them. No, not yet. After all, a dragon, something out of old tales and legends. No one could have expected. Okay. You can you know bet he'll be. Thanks, you thanks partner. Thanks, partner. Dragon, your best bet is to go to Solitude and join up. I hope so. The Legion is Skyrim's only. You make a good right case, now. is what I said, but Come I don't, I don't even really care what he's saying, to be honest. You get moving. I'm trying to talk about these stones, and I will not start until you leave. So go ahead. I have time. I have time. Go ahead. What are you standing around for? I thought you had important things to do, partner. Oh, I don't even call him partner. Look, if I go this way, look, if I pretend to start moving, will that bait you? You're a filthy snake is what you're being right now. I just want to end him right here. I just want to end him right here. I just want to do slash kill and confirm it. It's fine. Let's just talk about my stones. I guess I will. I guess I you win. You win. You win, you Imperial. You know what? I'll join Stormclothes then. Huh? You want me to join Stormclothes? Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. I knew I could... Oh, you're going to stop and turn back and look at me? I said I'd join Stormcloaks if you don't go right now. Okay, I'll join Stormcloaks and I'll kill you. Good luck. Good luck with that, partner. Last chance. I... You know what? At least you gave me some space. No. The Warrior Stone? The Mage Stone. Which is really nice because um, I found some... in. Uh, infinite XP glitches with soul trap which I, I'm I know that it's known now but when me and my uh, cousin were, f were first playing this game we figured that out and we were just like we thought it was so insane that that was a thing and I remember I don't know who found it first but like one of us found one we told the other guy and then the 
then he found one and then he told me and back and forth like he like i don't know who found which one for i don't know who found soul trap and who found uh muffle or and then one of us found another one and we just kind of went back and forth figuring out these infinite ones but this is a really good stone to have too i really like the stealth one just to get my sneak up but the way i'm gonna play this game right now so this really isn't gonna be a hard decision this time actually now that i think of it is the warrior stone because i'm gonna kind of just go guns blazing i don't really care about i don't i, I don't have the focus for stealth in it right now he actually waited for me i've never had him wait for me on this i'm just gonna skip out on that right here um yeah let's just move forward let's try to get skyrim i mean uh, let's try to get to skyrim guys we're almost to skyrim as i'm concerned no let's just get our stuff your together pod. but until we get that confirmed by general tullius just stay clear of other imperial soldiers and avoid any complications all right i've never usually i've ignored him so many times after the first time listening to him that I've never like this dialogue sounds new to me, and I know I've heard it before. That's interesting. Okay, let's take the hide. Uh, is there is it R to take all? It is perfect. Okay, I'm happy I learned that. I kind of want to try what a thousand FOV is. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to river. We'll be fine. I really only want to take one or two shots per a video here. Why I'm having my drink day, but we'll see. We'll see. This mouse pad's kind of nice. I will say. It actually feels so good on my wrist, though. Like, I never really felt pain in this wrist. I really feel pain in the elbow over here. But if I got one more of these, I could put it for my elbow and that would fix everything. Oh, here we are, Riverwood. There's so many things you can do here in Riverwood. You can get one of two followers. You can talk to two different people as the startup quests. There's a blacksmith, there's the golden claw, and there's like the person I usually marry in this game, in this building right here. There's the whole blades and like that whole secret society type thing in the end here it's just it's such a a class this, this place is like the most known location it's more known than white run everyone knows what riverwood is everyone that's ever played skyrim has been to riverwood not everyone's been to white run is that weird to think about i mean everybody's been to helgen I guess you could say that, but hell, this is where you start, so that's not really saying anything. It probably still says stolen right here until I like, can talk to the guy, but I don't feel like talking to him really. He's just gonna tell me go talk to the blah 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 at White Run blah 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 Yarl instead of King and nonsense. Ooh, I can make arrows hinges. I think we're going to just do a heavy armor warrior build. Just, let's just keep it simple. It'll be nice and dandy that way. Am I invited in? Oh, I'm invited in. You know what? That's kind of nice. Usually I get annoyed because um, I can't really talk to them. Because I have to wait for their conversations and You know what? I want to hang out with you guys for a second. Hey, how you doing? Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Of course. Take what you need. Thanks. But what's all this about? What are you two doing here? I'll take everything you own right now. Thanks, partner. That's totally what I need. What? Totally will use it. Sell it back to him. Imagine it? selling it back to him, that actually. Explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. Okay. Dragon? It was a dragon. Havard will tell you the same thing. That dragon flew on its way. You must have seen it. Okay, I'll just go for the first one. I probably shouldn't try reading these because I'm just going to sound like the town drone. What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Taking a moment here. I want to check. Um, they say. Ooh. The Yarl needs to Ooh. know there's a dragon on the loose. 
Riverwood is defenseless. I wanted. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever to soldiers check he can. I my headphones for going to do that for me. I'll be in your debt. You're going to see me cringe a lot today. I also have a hat coming in the mail soon. It's a little custom sub cola hat, and then I'm gonna get a custom sub cola jacket. I don't really want to say anything yet, but you know what? My tongue might be a little loose today. If you know what I'm saying. But, uh. I'm gonna have my own little sub cola uniform. It's gonna be kind of cool. Not very many small, small, uh, channels like mine. Does the YouTuber have his own, like, little uniform and everything? Like, I have my flag right there. I got a pillow. You know what I'm saying? Not very many little channels have those kind of things. So it's kind of cool to have. But, um, it says it's out for delivery right now. I Let me make sure this doesn't say my... I mean, it doesn't really matter if you guys know my address. Because I'm not really... I, I, it's so I'll easy to find. I, I definitely didn't make stuff. it hard or hide it. You know I, was to I guess if I just click on it, these are the headphones I'm getting right here. We were attacked. See that right there? Don't those look nice? When your friend told I guess you guys will see them when I, I get them today. So I'll be getting them later. They were $120. In in not, not too much. Well, I wish I would have got 100 for my other headset because I had a thing, I'm but sure I missed River it by like three days because right I didn't I stopped the Yara learns what station stuff for now. Be sure to send soldiers until I get my monitor. Go on, that far. I got my PSP set up so far. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over. Might as well sit here and hang out with these guys for a moment. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself. Never really listened to my friend here before. I need to get back to solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food supplies a place to stay. What a monster! Of course. How Any evil! Of Hadvars is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help. All right, I just had to say that. You're gonna. I'm gonna probably say a little bit. My friend. Within reason, of course. Do you have any supplies like I could take? Said, I'm glad to help in any way. <laughs> Why is he asking for supplies again? I see no. Oops. Not oh, a minute. Okay. If you have the skill. Thanks. We'll just leave. We'll just leave because I'm gonna. I'm starting to get upset. All right, here we go. Since we chose this side, look at these, all free, all free. Yep, free. And now we grabbed a little bit of the leather. One, two. That's four leather strips added. That's enough to maybe do a... Okay, so there's studded armor. This leather armor, which the leather armor is not bad. There's iron armor, which this one needs to... Donk -a -donk. Ooh, you know what? Maybe I want to buy that. I wouldn't mind rocking this armor. You know what? Just like the classic Skyrim iron armor. Let's just make what we can make. We can make the chest piece. Screw it. I don't need... I'll, I'll upgrade to that. It'll be nicer to start from that. Even though he usually wears the leather thing with the little piece right here. You know what, maybe we should try to get to that. I know I just built that. It's the studded armor. I need three iron for that. Dang, okay. Oh, auto run. Weird. Crouch. Why do you got? Okay, I got out. Oh, that was close. That was close. Okay, I don't like rocking stolen gear in these type of games, but I mean, there is this version of it. But I want to wear the actual classic, like the movie trailer version of this type outfit. There we go. That's what she called the Skyrim outfit right there. It's nice. It's nice.
All right, let's get this show on the road. Now, there's a few places we can talk to the Golden Claw people, and she'll lead me, point me on my way. Let's go take out that dungeon. Why not? We just need to head up the mountain to it. Which, it's a whole scenario going through there, but we'll just grind our way through. I have so many memories on Skyrim. It's going to be nice. That's going to be nice playing through just the main story of this game. That's all I'm going to do, though. I... I I don't feel like doing any of the side things. Everything in this game has been like so overly. Like, there's so many thousands of videos. Like, I'll probably not get very many views on my Skyrim videos here today, but just because they're not really in demand. Boulder's Gate ones really aren't in demand anymore either because it's kind of fading out, but I'm, I have the whole series done and finished up a while back. And even though I'm, I just like uploaded the Foundry boss fight or something like that, it, it's long past by the time this one gets posted. There is third person. I always like so in Bethesda games, I like to explore in third person and fight in first. That's just how I am. I like to fight in first, explore in third, just so I can see like the nice aesthetics of the game and the outfit and everything they have, and admire the armor. I, I really love to admire the outfits in the games. That's one of the main things. Okay, here we go. But fighting in third person isn't bad. I might try it right here. I'm, I'm definitely going to try it here. It's not a question. Oh, whoa, you leaped out of nowhere. Now, I have this very horrible problem where I have to loot everybody I take down the second I take them down. Like, I don't wait. Okay, now, I don't want to be dying here. I want, I want his helmet so I can have a non-stolen one. Oops, I'm getting hiccups. Oh, I know kind of a secret glitch on here that I don't think is actually a public glitch, if that makes any sense. It's like a glitch that I believe, I mean, it's probably out there. This game is so old. A lot of the glitches I found have been like found by now, but there's one in particular that may not have been found. Well. I don't know if it may not have been, but it is one I know and I want I would like to share it right now. That's what I'm trying to say. And that is you can combine armors. You can wear you can have the horns of this helmet stick out of a daedric helmet, is what I'm saying. And yes, and you can do this as much as you like. It can cause some problems in your game because you can really glitch it out to get whatever you want. You can just stack Daedric armor. So how you do this glitch, where you can wear two sets of armors at once and they mesh together. You put on an outfit. So say I put this one on, right? You put on whatever outfit you're currently wearing, what you want, right? Get caught by the guards. Do something bad. Break the law. Go to jail break out don't grab your stuff go to your house or wherever you have your next suit of armor at put that suit of armor on go talk to a guard submit back to gel sleep and when you leave you'll have both sets of armors equipped my case is rested and i believe you can continue to do that so next time you go to gel escape again Put on another suit of armor and they'll keep meshing. You can mesh all of them together and look like a monster. I've never done that many before. I've only ever done up to two. But you can get some really cool combos. You can get some really cool combos. I don't know if it got patched or found by other people. Maybe it's old news by now. But I remember when I first found that because I was like escaping gel and I got caught again and then I saw the armors combine. It was just it was just crazy and I like tried a few different combos I didn't really go too in depth on it I just was like wow this is kind of cool and then I like I didn't really do it too much you know what I'm saying it kind of just like I kind of blew it under the counter yeah let's um let's get inside bleak 
falls barrel barrel we should do the Moloch ball mission because I always quote that all the time even though I don't quote it properly because he always says deeper into the bowels of and I just don't know what the rest of that sentence is so maybe we should do that to see what the rest of the sentence is I'd like to in I usually like to increase magicka or stamina to get carry weight, but I think I might do some health. I kind of want to be a tank. Oh, how do you sprint in this game? I guess sprinting will not be an option for me as of right now. And you're done. Like that. Gonzo. Defibulated. I'm getting a little bit hungry though, so I think in between this episode and the next, once we get to White Run, I'm gonna take a little break and go get my food. Cause I I'm start I'm start I'm just I'm feeling it. It's like I'm getting stabbed in the gut right now because I'm hungry. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have these uh, teriyaki noodles. I'm gonna crack an egg on them. I crack the egg on the top before I even start cooking it, so it like kind of boils itself on the top and then it mixes in really well and it is so good. It's so good. Only had it one time with the egg, but I can tell you this, it is absolutely top tier. It's great. I always saw that. It feels like you'd stab yourself in the progress if it went in that deep. You know what I'm saying? I feel like with a dagger, it would make sense for that kill, but when you use a sword, it feels like you'd kill yourself with that move. But you know, that's just. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll have to get my food now. I don't know. But it could change up the flow. Oh, I might have to get it. That hurts. Oh boy, that hurts. I'm feeling like knife stabs in my stomach right now. It wants. It's yearning for food. It's yearning for food. Okay, you know what? I need to eat. I need to eat. We'll be right back. Okay, so I made my noodles. Cracked the egg, and this is kind of what they look like right here. You know what I'm saying? It's a little messy, a little ugly. They're good. I haven't tried it yet, or at least this, this dish, but I've tried, I've eaten this before, but it's a little hot. Kiss it a little bit, make sure it's not too hot. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's just... It's just like the, these are only 80 cents and then whatever the egg was cost. I've been wanting to eat this for a while. Things kept coming up where I didn't. And I'm just so happy it was saved for today. This is just... This is something else. I'm happy to have this. Be able to make this for myself right now. Thankful. has perfect timings for everything. Nothing's on accident. But some things don't you wish it just never happened? But if they didn't, you would have evolved from them the way you did, you know what I'm saying? I always try to tell people, no matter what you think, no matter how bad, bad things have happened to you in your life, once you get to a certain position, 
you'll understand that you wouldn't want to take that back. Even though the horrific, bad, just whatever disgusting, evil thing happened. At some point in your life, you'll understand that, like, even even if you always wished that you could take it back, you'll understand that that catapulted you towards a certain goal. It got you to a certain point because that was just the butterfly effect of from that. It gave you a certain understanding. It made you think about it. You can understand certain people about it now. All these different things. You wouldn't be who you were today without it. Even all the good. Just think about all the good things that happened after that. Those things may not have happened if that didn't happen, because you would have been zigzagged into a different direction. Regardless of what that fantasy would be, you are where you're at now. You can become anything you need to be, want to be. It's not ever out of reach. And so it just it just takes time to understand where you're at and where that put you you just need to understand that everything's a blessing even the even bad things that happen will turn into blessings at some point everything is just catapulting off each other to reach a specific goal There really is no need to worry. I understand that you can't really control if you worry about something. But there is no point to it. Because everything has its purpose in set time. And it's all needed. Even if the picture is too big for us to see or to ever understand. It was there and it helped in one way or another even if we weren't able to perceive what it changed or what it did. I guess what I'm trying to say is there's always... Even if you don't see it, you need to realize that it's there. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Always. And it may be hard, you might not be able to control your body, right? But your soul knows, at least, things will be good. Some, there's just the certain things that just happen that you just can't stop. Like the, you, you will feel emotion. You, under, you just need to understand that once that passes, everything will be good. I always have faith that no matter what happens, Good things will always be. And that bad things are just not fun good things because eventually they will turn out to catapult into good things, even though they may have been horrific. You know what? I bet what I'm saying right now, even though I'm a little on the drinking mode, I guarantee that me saying this right now, even though I don't have very many subscribers and I might not get very many views, there's the one person that gets this point and sees this and hears this is the person that needed to hear it. That this message was meant for. So if you're hearing this right now, this was meant for you to hear. Even if you don't understand it now. Even if you just think you're laughing at me and just thinking what I'm doing right now is kind of funny and interesting to watch, you may not understand it right now, but you needed it. You needed to hear it. It needed to be in your soul. You might be laughing now. You just wait and see. You just wait and see. feeling so good right now, it doesn't even matter. I'm actually feeling extremely horrible, extremely excited, extremely happy, disgusted, upset. I'm feeling everything all at once at 100% power. 
Even sadness. All of it. I'm feeling every emotion there is right now. Even love. All of it. Every single emotion. You just wouldn't even believe it. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. I'm not trying to tell you to believe me or not. That's just how I feel. I'm thankful for that meal right there. That was so good. I wish I could continue eating, but that was the end of that meal. I, I still feel need more. I still feel the need for more food right now. I don't feel full yet. You know what I'm saying? I do have more snacks, but even like once you eat like I just did, you just you eat your meal. You need to give it some time. Get wait like five ten minutes and then see if you're still hungry because it just takes a little while to digest and get there, and maybe you'll feel fine and full. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Although I'm thinking one more drink. Now, I absolutely love the Serrano, and we do need to continue because these these might be very long episodes. Maybe I'll just cut this one into its own little short, where it's just me speaking some wisdom, because I can a little bit. I know I can speak some good wisdom occasionally. I might be under the influence right now, so I can't really do it. But, I got straight A's in writing, and it was effortlessly getting those A's, because I, I, I used... To, I may not be good at speaking, but I am good at writing, and I'm good at understanding things. It's just when I speak them into words, I fumble and fall apart, unlike right now. But when I'm needed, I will not fail. When I have to, I will not fail, and I will not lose, no matter what. I don't care how good someone is. I don't care if they're the pro, the professional, whatever it is. If I want to, or need to... I will crush you. I will beat you. I will not lose if I know I have to win. It's as simple as that. That's why no one beats me. You're unbeatable if you know you have to win and if you want to win. But you don't play for the win at the same time. Is that weird? Might be weird. Maybe my thoughts falling apart. I don't think it was. Isn't this, this is going to be great. I can already tell you right now, this is going to be great. Let's get started. Let's wind this, this. let's go through this cave here. I wonder if the field of view affects third person. Most likely it does. I wonder when I first played this game, if I went to White Run first or not. I think I did go to White Run first before going here, but I might have came here first. I don't I don't remember exactly. I do have some good I do have some memories, but it was so long ago when I first played this game and so many different playthroughs that they kind of bleed together. But I do have memories of my first playthrough that are solid and I know they're from that. And memories from either watching my cousin play because he played on my first character on here too. And I watched a lot of that certain levels and characters and creatures that we ran into and talked to and on his own playthrough when he eventually got the game because he got the game too when it came out as well because we were both we, we were just obsessed with this game when we first touched it because it's our first open world game I know I've said that but like we both just we had to be in this game and I played fall I played this first and then I went to some fallouts and I hated fallouts but then once I got older, I started not liking this game as much, and I started loving Fallout more. But the real reason is that I like Fallout 4, particularly Fallout 4. We'll just let this guy die. Whoops, 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 whoops. Is there's something special about the game with the way you communicate with your followers and you talk to people, where it's a solo game. You don't, it just, you don't feel alone and like you're in an empty world. Like in this game, it is lively. But when you communicate to everyone, it's a little bit robotic and you can just tell that they're not real. But when you play Fallout 4, you feel like you're there and you're making these bonds with these people. You're trying hard to do the right thing for, each, for whatever follower you have to increase that bond.
and it, it just you, you don't feel alone you can play without internet and just feel it it's just happy you know what I'm saying there's just something about it there's just some sweet thing to it where if you are lonely you play Fallout 4 you won't feel lonely unlike if you play a game like this like Skyrim you definitely will feel a little bit alone you feel like there should have been multiplayer or something like that but Fallout 4 with how the followers work you have a partner there you can fall in love with those characters you can form actual bonds with those characters that's how Fallout 4 stands apart from the rest Fallout 76 does not have that and that's where it may fall off and like the size and scale of everything in Fallout 4 is really good uh, Fallout 76 did not have the size and scale of Fallout 4, so it's a little less immersive, but hey, it's it's still fun. It's in the Fallout universe, so there's fun things to do, but it definitely ain't no Fallout 4. It's definitely its own thing. It's not really... It's like a... It's, a, it's really a spin-off. Like, Elder Scrolls Online is really just a spin-off because it's an MMO. Which makes me curious to eventually play... Starfield because I haven't even I have okay hear me out I've never really even seen the trailer to Starfield let alone I like I know I haven't seen like I've, I've talked about how I haven't seen a Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer yet but I haven't even seen Starfield yet I've seen little teeny bits and bobs of some gameplay but I'm not enough to even understand anything so that's why it would be cool that it, when I play it it's gonna be like if it was day one for me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I say I say that a lot. I always am saying, you know what I'm saying. But why I'm a little under the influence, you're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm just gonna let it flow. So I've tried to stop saying it a little bit. Now this spider right here was definitely I fought this thing so many different ways. It did so much damage in like one hit. Yo. Let's get a point into health real quick. I kind of want to put a point into stealth. I mean, a uh, smithing just to make some steel armor. But let's just ex let's just let's get that's a uh, I'm sorry. Let's just find armor on our own accord. Like how I said, let's just be poor this time. Kind of the same thing. Oops, let's put a point into one-handed. It will be worth it. It wants to squirt. I can tell. There we go. Oh boy, he almost got me. Mr. Spider almost got me. Mr. Spider almost got me. I don't know how favorites work in this game. I have to press Q for favorites. Okay. I'm thinking we do axes instead of swords. Whoops, I did not mean to do the Nova's Hood. So at least the still oh there is the still swords are nice but I'll I'll take an axe I'll take an axe magic powers battle cry I don't know what button it is to do that so hopefully I don't use that at a horrible time that hit me no 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 don't kill me are you serious there's no way that this happens to me right now. That's what I'm talking about right there. We destroyed it. I'm just superior. I'm just better. I'm built different. All right, big giant anthropodic spiders are just not gonna get me. You did it. You killed it. 
Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Now here's this guy. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door, and the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Does it look like I can move? <laughs> you have to cut me down first. All right, Mr. Swift. All right. I bet you know a tailor, but that's just a hint. <laughs> Coming loose. I can feel it. Yeah, no, I already know your game, bro. Goodbye. Give me the claw. Bear, snackle, and um, owl. Bear, f bug, do dog, bug, bird. Okay, dog, bug, bird. That's that's the best one for me to remember. Dog, bug, bird. Easy, easy. Dog, bug, bird. That feels good. Oh, uh, you know what sounds nice right now? Two bears, one cave podcast. Maybe I only think that because I feel like I sound like Bert a little bit. And that's only because I've been drinking. <laughs> you want to sound like Bert, just drink some alcohol. If you drink enough, eventually you'll sound like him. <laughs> All right. Whenever I, uh, watch that, I think the reason I like two bears in one cave is because I feel like, I feel like Bert and my dad would get along really well. They're just, they're similar. And then I had this one teacher. Honestly, if Bert, my dad, and this one teacher I had got into a room together, that would be some conversations. They're just, they're so similar. They talk and talk and talk and they're all about built the same. Kind of have the same kind of like lifestyle and stuff. They they'd be good friends. I know it. I I almost can promise it. Ancient Nord, whatever that is. Oh, he almost killed me. It was close. It was close. Oh, uh, it feels weird not having the right side be that. It's, it's inverted. Weird. I haven't noticed that until now that it was inverted. Weird. I can't wait until my headset gets here. It's going to be so fun. I'm going to have to hook it up, though. And hopefully it doesn't mess with any of my recording and stuff. But, you know, when it gets here, it gets here. What time is it? It is 10, so that means it's not here yet. But it could be. The black one's nice, but I'm happy I got the white one. Oh, what the? Package is out for delivery. We'll be here by 8 p.m. I've never had them show up that late before, so I doubt that it'll be 8 p.m. It'll be more like 2 p.m. Now there is one thing I'd like to check real quick. Oh no, I didn't even look. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I did that. I'm actually, one thing I'm looking to do recently is now, it's a little bit weird. Kind of. Not really. It used to be really easy for me, but as of late, with how the how things have progressed in the world, it's a little more difficult. There's less people in game chat, and ever since COVID, A lot of losers started playing video games. Now, I'm not trying to be offensive right now about that, but what I'm saying is there used to just be a lot of like nerdy, geeky types that played video games, people that I like. And when COVID hit, kind of like jocks and like whatever, whatever you want to explain them as. I'm just trying to use words to kind of explain, but like people that wouldn't play video games are now playing them. 
and it used to be just like a community like gamers used to just be a community where like one gamer to another would bond easy but now it's just like nobody's in party chat they're all kind of anti-social even online it used to be like we were nerdy but we would talk to each other because it was over thick now it's now they're even shy to talk in game chat but what I'm trying to the point I'm trying to get to is I'm trying to increase I'm trying to find some like a few more members to add to my little community of friends for gaming the set like I want to I want to I want to make some, make a few new friends, of a certain variety I guess but yeah that's that's basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make some and it's a little bit difficult, sort of, because I don't, I I don't even use game chat really much for anymore as well, so that's a problem. But I'm pretty good at finding people and just making them my friend, regardless if they want to be or not. So I mean, some people got some, some people a little harder force them to be your friend, but it's not impossible. It's about a lot of friends I made where they were just like, they said that they weren't going to ever talk to me again after the first time they talked to me, but they went to bed and forgot that they were they going to block me, and then we ended up being friends. So, I mean, who dabs one of those people? DMM, I think, wanted to be one of those people, but me and DMM are good friends, so. I don't see... I don't see that one fall. I don't see that fall apart. I think me and DMM are kind of just... We're, we're brothers at this point. We're brothers at this point. What? Would you like to speak to me? Come to me. The kitty's screaming and yelling at me. He thinks... The audacity that cat has... To even raise his tone to me right now. Even raise his tone. How many times I've fed him, gave him water, gave him the attention he deserves, and he thinks he can just mow at me? Mow at me? Like, like I'm some kind of a servant? I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Slam! Wham! 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 Yes! Crushed. I think I may have been a little bit on the happy side of that, but hey, what can you say? What can you say? Wham, 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 boom, dead, gone, easy dub. What are these, like Warhammers and the Maces? I know they added some new stuff to Skyrim, but that's interesting to see. I feel like Skyrim always just once in a while will throw new stuff at you that you haven't seen. And like, there's like there, there's like some enemies that pop up occasionally too. There, like, because some things are so rare in this game that like, you'll you'll sometimes you'll just have a playthrough where it sh throws all of the rare stuff at you like every single time, and it just it's this you know, no two playthroughs are the same. This is cool. I wonder how fighting the boss up ahead is gonna be. Should I just point? Should I just put all of my points into health? I know I'm gonna need stamina, but all of my points into health? All of them? I really just want to get one handed up. Usually I just put the first point in again, but you know what? Let's get the little stamina booster. We're going to play it a little different than I usually would, which is fine and dandy. I don't know why I collect that. I usually collect that because I'd like to get it to 100, level 100 for my alchemy. You know, I'm collecting them anyways, even though I don't plan on getting, I don't plan on getting any skills to 100 on this character because after we beat the game today, just the main story, I don't think I'm going to be playing it. But I might. Maybe I'll play it on my own, but I definitely won't 
continue to board after this point. I think I'm approaching time for another shot. Let's at least fight the boss of this cave. And we'll see we'll go from there. I think just getting to Whiterun and talking to the guards will be the end of part one, so then the next one will be fighting a dragon for the first time in a while. Oh, like, you know, our first dragon fight, I guess. However you would want to say that. Why does it feel like R would drop? It is. Weird. That was 50 pounds for those three items. Weird. Fine by me, though. I don't really care. 50 pounds is 50 pounds. And 50 pounds is not fun to carry. Oh my goodness. Just so disgusting. It's evil. <laughs> evil is so bad, it's evil. <laughs> Literally, if I was to get mad at evil, one of the words I'd use against it is calling it evil. <laughs> Pretty relaxed. Hey, I guess. It's gonna be a relaxed, laid back time. <laughs> slap, slap, slap. There was this one time I was drinking and um, I have a picture of my phone. I always like to take a selfie every time I. every once a year that I drink. And the last one I took, the photo glitched. And you know those, like, they're like lionfish or whatever? I believe they're called lionfish. They're poisonous. They're spiky. Kind of like a dragon almost, but they're like, they're lionfish. Well, I took a picture of myself, and the way my beard and the lighting hit, it looked like a lionfish. It was, it's kind of interesting. Maybe I could show you guys. I still have the photo. I was looking at it today. But it like put like lines through my beard and it was orange. I don't know how the photo did that, but every time I see it, I look like a lionfish. It's 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 interesting. Fish. Fish is a cool word to say. Little fishies. Little fishies. Fishies is a good word. Fishies makes me happy because it feels like a humble little happy word. Kind of like sunshine. Sunshine. If I hear someone say sunshine, that's nice too. Yeah. Oh, but that reminds me of a really good song. You are my sunshine. Oh my goodness. I love that song so much. You sing that to me. I'm in love already. That's, that's how easy it is to get in my heart. You sing me that song. Oh, you're in. Not if you're a guy, though. If you're a guy, you sing it. Well. Oh. Nice song. Thank you for singing it, but definitely could be friends, but uh, I don't... I'm not gonna love you for it. But there's just something about when a woman sings, all right? There's just something about uh, female voices in general, I guess. I, like basically when I listen to music a lot of the music I listen to now I Coldplay is definitely one of my number it is my number one thing that I'm like a fan for but with that said a majority of my songs and a lot of the songs well I don't know it's kind of weird but I have an affinity to hearing a woman sing so like whenever there's a female singer I and they're like and it's like a soft song or something like that oh boy I just love it. So nice. Uh, I remember. Dog. Bug. 
bird. Oh no, no, that was dog. There it is. See, I'm happy I chose those terms because if I would have said something else, I would have forgot. But dog bug bird is very simple for where I'm at to figure that out. All right, I'm gonna earn some Jamison after this boss fight, so let's get there. Cause now I'm starting to just feel sleepy. I am getting sleepy because it is uh, 10. And I didn't sleep. I stayed up all night and then started drinking. So that's another reason why I'm acting weird. It's not even the alcohol. It's really just I haven't slept as well. So that's probably one of the reasons why I'm relaxed as well. But not sleeping and drinking alcohol. They kind of combo together. I, I could get the chest behind that, but you know what? I'll leave it alone for now. I'm feeling hungry again. I'm feeling starved. Now, if memory serves me right, this guy will whip you in seconds. Oh, but I'm crushing you. I'm absolutely destroying you. Oh my goodness, I've never had it be that easy of a fight before. I've never had it be that easy. It, honestly, I'm rewarding myself with the chest back here now. I deserve it after that. Where is it at? I think there's actually two hidden chests in here. But I'm only gonna wait, Elvis? Okay, Elvis is good enough. Me. I will say the lock picking is somewhat harder with mouse. Keyboard. Maybe I just have done it so many times on console that I think that, but I, I do believe it. I do believe it is difficult. -er. So now that we beat that boss and absolutely crushed him out of existence, it is time for some James. Now my gut hurts. So I am starving yet again. That is fine. I got some bananas. I poured that in such an interesting way, you will just never, I, I, didn't, I didn't put it on camera how I did it because I just held it like this, just let it slowly drip in. I spilled a little teeny drop though, that is fine. I'm gonna have to grab one of those bananas that are near me, and get that to help me out on the scale. Got a little bit on my desk, I'll light that up real quick. Ah, here comes the hard part. Although Jamison is really good if you let it sit for one day, and it just it just tastes like water if you let it sit for just 24 hours. Let it sit in an open cup. It will taste just like water. You won't even get the alcohol flavor. Dangerous. It's dangerous because if you can't taste it, then you can drink a lot, and that is why it's dangerous. And you want to drink too much too fast. Never do that. If you do that, you're just being stupid being irresponsible you're gonna hurt yourself and don't drink your body will know when you've had too much you do not want to go past that limit now a few times i'm like okay this is my limit i know this one's gonna put me out i've done it but don't do it responsibly you pass out choke on like bar for whatever i've only ever thrown up once though but that's only because the first time i ever drank was a little too much so i was being taught and then ever since then, I learned from that experience. And I, basically, if you're ever going to drink for the first time, have a family member, like a mother or father figure. Have them sit with you while you do it. You drink as much as you want. They'll watch and monitor you. Keep you safe. And then ever, after that, you'll be able to gauge. That's that's how I... That's the best way for anybody. Don't go to... Don't drink at parties stuff like that. Let's be with family. Be casual. 
learn it, understand the boundaries, don't try to impress no one, just do you, don't hurt yourself, make sure to drink water, and once you're done drinking, like, you, you're just like, okay, you know, it's the end of the day, that's my last drink, drink a bunch of water, just drink a bunch of water before you go to bed early. you do that, and you made sure to, like, eat food in between each thing, or, like, be snacking on something, you won't even be hungover, you won't, you at least I I don't know about me, but I've only, I've only ever been hungover one time, and every other time that I've drank I've drank like a whole bottle of these before. The very next day, no 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 no. Now this is just like this does not happen to me. I think this is very rare that this is even a thing. But for me, I feel thirty times better for like the next for the rest of the year, for like the next three months. I feel tip top shape, and like I'll wake up the next day and I'll get up and I'm just pumped. For like the next three months but then i i don't drink other than once a year so this is kind of just like my mental reset so basically all the emotions of everything for a whole year come up and then there's just one day where i'm just like you know what this is the day where i need the reset and then double down and start grinding out my work and that's what the day really is so really in a way the way i have it set up now i don't recommend it at all i don't even recommend having this be your way of doing it. i don't recommend drinking at all whatsoever just don't even, don't even touch it but for me, personally, this is what I do for my reset. Works really well for me. And, you know, it's it's good to relax a little. That's what I'm saying. But, responsibly. I really want to just hammer down on the do it responsibly. And don't, you know, only do it at family parties. Don't, don't drink at like frat houses, or bars, or anything like that. Leave, leave all that to people that want to hurt themselves. Do what I do. Just play, find a video game to play, enjoy it, drink. I still, ha I, I, I still have not, <laughs> I think the reason I'm talking so much is because I don't really want to do this right now, but I do at the same time. That's Jamison, it should be good. Has a sweet vanilla scent. Slightly sweet scent. And then it kind of has that like, almost like a grape, like just like a hint of like a little bit of like a spiky grape, but that might just be like the alcohol smell that I'm describing. And with the sweet scent, it makes it smell like it would be a grape. I don't know how they make Jamison or not, but I'm not sure how this is going to go down or not. Because it's make it's reminding me of the apple thing and it could be bad, but I'll do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? I wonder if I'll actually be able to make it through the, the story of this game before I call it a day. Because if, if I drink these and I get to a certain point where like I should be fine. I usually drink for 8 hours. But we'll see, we'll see. It's not bad, it's clean. It hurts though. It hurts. It's not comfortable. It's not a great... For a whiskey though, it's... I believe it's a whiskey, yeah. For a whiskey, whiskey is pretty top tier, but... I'm more of a liqueur drinker, and liqueurs really just give you diabetes because they're full of sugar. I like it simple. I like my drinks to be sweet. And that's fine by me. There we go. Just wanted to clean up the area, make sure I don't make a mess on my desk, wipe it all up because I don't want no stickiness around my computer or anything. I might be drinking, but I'd like to, you know, still stay focused on making sure that I'm not reckless. Make sure everything's clean, you know, sanitary, everything's good, and then have fun. One of the things that happens when I drink, though, is I start getting very hyper-focused on making sure of the safety of myself and others. I start getting, like, really, like... 
I don't know, it like releases a dad chemical in me where I just start becoming like overprotective of everyone around me. It starts it starts spiking that responsibility gene. Like, you know what? Honor than I, I don't know, maybe I just get worried. I just start I just start getting worried and I like hyper focus on uh just being normal, I guess. And uh I don't know if it's maybe maybe it's because I have asthma or maybe I do have diabetes or something and that's why it makes me feel norm normal after years or after a year of not feeling normal. normal. But I don't know. It's giving me the hiccups though. That's something. I think I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Nope, we're going the right way. That's fine. There's a random horse right here. Wait, can I take this horse? Is this... Is this our free horse? It doesn't even say steal? Thank you, Skyrim. <laughs> what are the odds? How do I get off? Oh, I think it's R. It's E. Is this your owner, horse? No, my goodness. Horse. Better not walk away from me, because we have business, horse. Nope, that's Raw Rabbit Lake. Come here. Well, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. What are the odds I just get a free random horse so I don't have to travel as far? Like, what are you... That's a speedrunner's dream right there, even though I'm not going to sprint with it. This is cool. We got ourselves a horse. What's a red flag when, um... Meeting a girl? She's into horses. I don't know what it is about them. I just end up being crazy, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe there's some sweetheart ones. I mean, they they kind of if they like horses, they're kind of a sweetheart. But the, at least my experience so far is rotten. But that but with that said, not everyone can't judge one say they all are but you can judge three and say they all are <laughs> that's good enough right one day doesn't explain the whole story but if you have a whole week on there that's good enough look at this world it feels so cool to be just in an open world like Skyrim what's that guy's problem You know what? She sounds hot, so I'll leave her alone. I don't even want to be part of that. She probably just wants to fight, and I don't want to have to put her down. Oh no, they're gonna kill the giant, and then they're gonna chase after me and try to give me credit for something I didn't do. Oh my goodness. Every time I come here, I, my main goal is to run as far as I can from these people. It's hard to even land a hit on that thing. I'm surprised they haven't even killed it yet. What? I want to see him launch one of them in the air. Go for it. You know you want to. Stop standing in there and taking it. Launch those people in the sky. He's running? I've never seen this fight last this long. Oh, it's dead. They're going to probably start chasing after me soon. I need to get out of here. All right, we're at White Run. White Run stables connected. I don't know. I don't know what that last word was. It was probably something along the lines of connected, right? 
is it conquered? I what what is the word? What what, what is that word? I want to I want to discover something. Oh, maybe it just said discovered. Why run stables discovered? Maybe it says that. Okay, horse. I feel like you're gonna probably head back to where I found you. I was trying to tell bye to my horse, and you're just gonna official business me. I'll get XP if I do that. <laughs> Welcome to White Run. It didn't level up my thing. Well, thank you, horse. It was really nice to like find you, and you gave me a nice ride over to here. So, you have fun on your journey. Thanks for the ride. I'm grateful for it. Uh, it's, it's sad to see him grow up and leave that path. You know what? It was nice. It was nice having a horse for even a short amount of time. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. And now, we're in White Run. This is nice. It doesn't get any nicer than this. I don't even feel like dealing with any of the townspeople. They can just say their same quotes over here. Oh, this guy's not. Oh, he is screaming. Of course, I have to hear you screaming, bro. That guy just needs a hug. He just needs a hug. I feel bad for him. He's just—he's he, always so stressed out. His existence is stress. That's just—I feel bad for him. Man. Oh my goodness, that Gith Yankee chick is gonna mess with me, isn't she? If there was ever a Gith Yankee, that's one of them right there. It's literally. It's literally tradition to avoid her to get to the king first. Who's this then? It's literally a tra tradition to just absolutely avoid her. Ignore whatever she's doing, because she's I not even trying to protect the king. Look, I just walked well, all the way up to him, and I she's still walking to slowly to me. To tell me. I do, important Mr. Balgrith. General Balgrith the Greater. A dragon destroyed Helgen. Avier is afraid that Riverwood is next. Alvo? Is that how they would talk? The smith, isn't he? The sniff? Reliable, the smith! But he said sniff. Not prone to flights of fancy. And you're sure Helgen was destroyed this guy like my dad. by a dragon? This wasn't some storm cloak raid gone wrong? The goatee, really? Yes, I had a great view why the Imperials were trying to cut my head off from the neck. Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. My but it's none of my concern who the Imperials oh, I thought it said it was deliver delivered, but it's out now. for delivery right now. What I want to know is, what exactly happened at Helgen? The dragon destroyed Helgen, and at last I saw it was heading this way. <laughs> Imagine if I voiced everything out of here and just my voice doing that, that'd be so silly. Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? I'm gonna be honest, this mouse pad is a little bit of a stress relief. It really is. You don't have a mouse pad like this, you can really miss it now. That's all I gotta say. I'll not stand idly by while the dragon oh, She never even bothered me halfway through the conversation this time. Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Keep your Well business. done. Huh? You sought me out on your own initiative. Yeah. You've done White Run a service. Yeah, totally my own initiative. I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There you over encumbered me. Thing you could do for me. Guess what? I already have what Suitable you need for the guy that needs your... it. I'm just I just moved that fast. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Okay. You lead now follow.
Wait, let's see. Is there any other side perk? Bone breaker, axes. Wait, attacks with those. Ignore that. Okay, swords have a 10% chance of doing criticals. What do axes do? Bleeding damage. Axes. Wait, attacks with axes cause extra bleeding damage, which bleeding damage I never really liked. But I do like axes. I just... It's just the middle of the road. It's not the one that does the most damage. It's not the fastest, but it's not the slowest. It's not the most amount of damage. It's not the least amount of damage. You know what I'm saying? It's the middle of the ground, and axes are just classic Viking weapons. They slice and stab. Like, this is my axe attack move right here. Just imagine there's an axe in my hand right now, and I'm just chopping away. This is too damage. Let's see. I guarantee the one he gave me is enchanted. No, it is not. I thought he gave me like a studded armor thing. Did he give me an imperial studded armor? I may be over encumbered, but I'll walk with him for now to talk to Mr. Wizard Man. And I think as we talk to Mr. Wizard Man, we'll be resetting the recordings. I guarantee it's been a it's been a while. Maybe I will edit Far these a little bit more I than think I think I they found will be. someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Yes, oh, yes he does. Yes, must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, into yes, the dragons. I could use someone yes. to fetch something yes. for me. Well, when I say fetch. I really mean delve delved into, into a dangerous, a dangerous place and, an you know, tablet that may or may not actually be there. Just tell me what you need me to do. You are Check eager to begin your them. adventure. Excellent. The sooner begun, the sooner done. Eh? I like Baron Guard. I, I always uh, thought he was cool. Learned of a certain stone tablet I think he ends up dying at some point. Or something. So, so, for some reason, I feel like this guy dies. To contain point. a map of dragon burial sites. That's by the hand of the Go player. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Still dealing with the pain. Oh, you mean this old stone? Give the dragon stone to Faringard. I love being able to say that. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Yeah. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes they are. I know, are. right? <laughs> you got your dragon stone, so what's next? We're You'll gonna drag it all about and then maybe stone? a steward Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. Was he not saying that right? Okay, and that. I think would be the end of this episode. I hope you guys all have been enjoying this. It's a little bit different than what I usually do, but this is a once a year thing, and this is the first time that I've done it in a recording. Maybe this could be fun. Maybe this is a start of a new tradition once a year. But, um, I guess I have to end end this one here just so my recordings aren't too long and they're probably going to be long so I might have to put these I might have to cut them to at least 20 minute segments but you know what if they're a little longer it'll be fine you know it'll be fine let me just cut it off here and I'll see you guys here in a bit because I'll be switching right over to that is this game making my computer warm not too much the middle is kind of warm though weird it's fine though, it's a Skyrim. Alright, let's flip it.